airport. It's crazy. I had an Uber reserve for like 8.30. But when I woke up at 7.30, my credit card didn't work or something. So I didn't have a Uber reserve yet. So without knowing, I reserve it back, but I, I tap 8.30, but it was 8.30 arrival at the airport, not 8.30 pickup. So I realized that like 10 minutes before the Uber comes and I'm like, oh my God, I gotta go fast. So I arrive here at the airport and there's like a crazy line at the baggage pickup. So I'm like, how lucky am I? <laughs> so I'm at the baggage pickup. They make me remove pretty much everything I have in my bike box because it's too heavy. So that took another 30 to 40 minutes. So now I'm only one hour away from my flight and the line here is like super, super long. <laughs> so I'm gonna make it in time, probably just because my credit card didn't work yesterday. That's the good news of the day, I guess. Maybe it's gonna be a good travel day. We'll see, it's a long one. I have a layover in Dallas. Yeah, we'll make the most of it. I'm gonna show you guys how I managed to get the most out of those travel days and arrive as fresh as possible. So that's breakfast. We have two pack of high protein oatmeal plus two pack of normal oatmeal. So, flight is delayed by 45 minutes. We'll have just under 40 minutes to make the connection. I'll keep you posted. Hopefully, we'll make the connection. I know we have to change terminals, so it's gonna be the first race of the week. <laughs> Good morning. We missed half a day. Sorry. I was able to make my connection by like 10 seconds. They were closing the gate and I arrived like two minutes after and I was okay. Very lucky. So I didn't film it. I was just like too stressed for, for all traveling, I guess. So we arrived yesterday kind of late. Uh, that's our cute house. It's pretty nice. We're four athletes, one mechanic, and now we're doing some content. I'm gonna go ride later today and uh, keep you posted about uh, what two days before a race looks like for a uh, pro cyclist, I guess. So um, I'll keep you posted. We need to keep it low, but uh, everyone here is doing uh, some content interview. Now we have Mary and Anthony doing some content about their massive uh, implication in their community. So here they are. Hey, baby, I'm in the building. <laughs> Put some fresh grease in there. I've been doing things all day. <laughs> Do you feel rested? Um, no. <laughs> so we are with the one and only vegan cyclist. How are you? I'm fantastic, man. Fantastic. When do you arrive in Kansas? We left Tuesday night and did a 16 hour drive in a stripped out sprinter van. Uh, so we got here Wednesday afternoon-ish. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So I have just one question for you. I know that you're super busy with everyone here. So how do you manage to produce content during the race? Because I saw you like in Gravel Loco, you were filming when everyone was attacking. You gotta explain to me how you do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really difficult. Um, so depending on how long the race is, bringing two batteries is always good because uh, it doesn't matter how much footage you get in the beginning if you don't get the finish, yeah. <laughs> it's, up, it's over. Um, you have to also know when action is going to take place. So you're always kind of anticipating 
and then it, you know you can set up the GoPro to just do a one press and one button press. Yeah, yeah. So you just hit it, it records, you hit it again, it stops. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I'm just you know we're coming into the river. Obviously, I'm mm -hmm. getting that shot, yeah. right? And then if people are starting to surge and attack, I'm getting that shot. <laughs> and it's I've gotten pretty good at it. Um, you know, you can't just leave it on because you'll kill the battery. Yeah. Uh, the hardest thing is is then going back and trying to make a story out of yeah. that and, and piece it all together and then add context to what people are seeing. And mm -hmm. so sometimes I'll add a profile, like a profile overlay. Mm -hmm. So it shows you where they, where we are, where we've been, what's coming up. Gravel Locos was, the profile was like <laughs> this. And so it really didn't make any sense, but like on a normal road where you're about to hit a climb, mm -hmm. there's that. Um, taking the GoPro off and getting other shots mm -hmm. outside of just straightforward. Yeah. You know, that's that's always good. But yeah. here's the thing is, you know, when you're in it and you are hypoxic and you just, you're suffering, you don't want to hit the camera. Yeah. You don't want to think about that. Yeah, that's the thing. Did you ever got dropped or miss like a crazy good move because you were actually too much in the filming thing? Um, yeah, I mean, not in Gravel Locos, but uh, there was one road race that I was trying to change the battery. Mm -hmm. And when I looked up, there was a gap and I, <laughs> I, I didn't make that gap. I was like, this is so dumb. But you know, it's, uh, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. Look, I'm not, everyone has their own skill set, And you know, your skill set is riding extremely fast and strong. I don't have that skill set, So I got to add something to, to yeah. I don't know, justify my existence. And that's telling a good story, so. I think you're you're doing pretty well. We can all agree on that. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> so we are towards the end of our ride. We had a good uh, 30K spin with uh, the vegan cyclist and uh, Matteo from Movie Star. Now we're heading to uh, the Pinarello photo shoot. So we're doing like just a small one hour shoot. There's plenty of sun. It's like almost 30 degrees. It's kind of nice out there. There's nothing happening though. Gravel is super smooth here. I don't think it's gonna be the case. <laughs> I know it's not gonna be the case for all the course. So now we just have to get my air right, get my smell right. So uh, I look better in photo than I actually look in real life. Nice. So we just did the last like, I think like six miles to finish. Just make sure you look, you're looking at your directions because you go through the college, like up on the sidewalks. And Good to know that I'll do it tomorrow. Go do it. Yeah. Because if you're at the sharp end of the race tomorrow, you'll want to know what's coming here. Oh my God, I'm going on Adam's <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Adam's mom, Nan, or partially deaf uh, elderly person that lives obviously in the room next door. I'm so sorry he has to speak quietly at the end of his videos because he doesn't want to wake you up and or the cat. Shh.